In this lecture, we are going to understand what is testing. We have two learning objectives under this topic. First objective is identify typical objectives of testing, and it is marked as K1. That means questions will be direct and you need to remember each points in it. Second objective is differentiate testing from debugging. It is marked as K2. That means you need to understand this topic. But before we start with these objectives, we shall understand what is testing. In this syllabus, we need to understand testing in the context of software. That means we will discuss only software testing, not hardware testing or electrical testing. So, what is software testing? Software testing is a way to assess the quality of the software and to reduce the risk of software failure in operation. Let's understand this. Once the developer develops software, the software is not directly given to the user. Before giving it to the user, the software undergoes a process to find out the defects and risks associated with software. And this process is called testing. So, by finding defects, we increase the quality of the software and reduce the risk associated with the software. Now let's see some applications of software. First example is business application and second one is customer products. Examples of business application are when you go to an airport to book your ticket or when you go to a supermarket to buy items, or when you are working in the office. Software is all around us. And some examples of customer products are washing machines, mobile phones, or coffee makers. They all contain software within them. What is your expectation from this software? The software will work whenever we use it. To ensure this, Testing of software is required. What happens if the software does not work correctly? Such software is called faulty software. And a faulty software can result in loss of money, time, reputation, or in extreme cases can result in injury or death. Now let's see some real-time examples to understand this. This news was in the market that one particular car company recalled 2,000 of its cars due to an issue with the front passenger airbag. Once such news hits the market, the share value of the company goes down and results in huge loss of money. Once these cars are in the garage, they undergo repair and at the same time the company has to do damage control. All this takes lots of effort and time. Let's see an example of loss of reputation. In 2014, there was a breach in the security aspect of eBay software. That means the software was not working as according to the expectations, and if such news comes out, it results in loss of reputation. Sometimes the defect can also result in injury or death. For example, if the airbag system doesn't work as expected. These were the four impacts of faulty software. Loss of money, time, reputation, and injury or death. Now we will see some of the misconceptions about testing. First misconception is that testing only consists of running test cases, which is completely wrong as testing is a process and consists of many activities that are listed here. It consists of test planning, test monitoring and control, test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution, and test completion. We will discuss each of these activities in detail in our future lectures, but for the time being, you need to remember these activities in the same order as listed here. Second misconception is that testing only involves the execution of the component 
or system being tested. This is also false, as testing consists of both dynamic and static testing. In dynamic testing, a code is executed, whereas in static testing, a code is not executed. We will provide a detailed lecture on this topic. For the time being, just remember that testing consists of dynamic and static testing techniques. The last misconception which we are going to discuss in this lecture is that testing focuses entirely on verification of requirements. This is also false, as testing focuses on both verification and validation of the requirements. Verification means, are we building product right? Whereas validation means to check if we built the right product. Again, I will provide detailed lecture to explain difference between both. As of now, remember testing focuses on verification and validation of the requirements. Before we end this lecture, let's have a look at the important points. Testing is done to assess the quality of the software and to reduce the risk of software failure in operation. Next point is that faulty software can result in loss of money, time, reputation, and injury or death. Testing is a process which consists of different activities such as test planning, test monitoring, test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution, and test completion. Testing consists of static and dynamic testing and consists of verification and validation processes. All these important points are available as a resource and attached with this video.